Hey guys, uh, this is Neil Woods here from Woods & Woods Attorneys. Uh, today we're just going to kind of be discussing uh, individual unemployability and Social Security Disability Insurance. So today's talk is over Social Security Disability Insurance, not Supplemental Income. So if you're looking for a video about SSI, this is not it. This is about SSDI and individual unemployability benefits. Um, there's a misconception out there that veterans can only receive one benefit or the other. That's not true. There were some laws that Congress and the administration tried to pass earlier last year that would have made it where you can only get one or the other. Luckily, lawyers, veterans groups, Democrats, Republicans, you name it, raised a lot of hell and it didn't happen. So, right now, veterans are eligible to get individual unemployability and Social Security disability insurance. So, basically start off on some of the questions that people always ask us. Uh, one of them is, you know, uh, what if I win one claim and I lose the other? That happens because the VA and Social Security Administration have very different guidelines. They have different eligibility guidelines. They, uh, you'll submit your application differently. They look at evidence differently. They are two completely separate systems. One de decision will have no bearing on the other. So if you're approved at one and denied at the other, they're totally separate from each other. Now both of those, if you are denied, you can appeal. So, you know, that's a nice thing. A denial is never the end of your claim on, on both of these. Do my VA benefits affect my Social Security disability? No, they're just not going to. If you're getting VA benefits, they're not going to affect Social Security disability income. So SSI potentially, but SSDI, you're not going to be affected. Your SSDI benefits are based solely off of looking back at your work history um, and work history and how much you paid into it are not going to be considered from the VA on your eligibility except for a little section of IU benefits where you are going to look at, you know, that you can't work. So can veterans get Social Security work credits for military service? Yes. So SSDI requires that you have work credits. You do get work credits for your time in the military. Will I get special extra earning credits for military service? This is a little thing that veterans don't know about. This is one of the reasons I think it's so important to hire representation for both claims. Veterans that served from 1957 to 2001 can get special extra earning credits for their military service. Veterans that served after 2001 are not going to receive any of these. Special extra earning credits are only granted for periods of active duty or active duty training. So what that means is you're going to get those work credits if you serve from 1957 to 2001 and those work credits are going to count towards your eligibility for your SSDI. Here's kind of people ask, you know, like what steps should I take to prepare for my individual unemployability claim and my SSDI claim? Well, the first place to start is really to start gathering up your medical documentation. Both the VA and the Social Security Administration are going to want evidence. They're going to want evidence of your conditions, how severe your conditions are, they're going to want to look at, you know, can you work? You know, you can send to the VA former statements from your employers uh, kind of saying, hey, you know, John was a great guy, but his disabilities prevented him from really being a full-time employee. I would have fired anyone else, but I really liked him. The next step we're going to talk about is consider using experts. So if you're applying for Social Security Disability and individual employability for mental conditions, we can't stress how important it would be to work with a psychologist. Now granted, that's good for treatment, but you can also have a psychologist write reports for you. These reports are going to detail things like how bad your conditions are, how they affect your life, how they prevent you from working. Another expert a lot of, uh, we use a lot of times here at the firm is uh, doctors outside of the VA. That's something a lot of veterans don't know this. If you get treatment at a VA clinic, you can still go outside of that. You can get doctor statements from doctors outside of the VA. We do on uh, a very large number of the appeals that we file. We send in medical documentation that really details 
what your disabilities are, how bad they're affecting your life, and then on the VA side, we connect it to your service. Um, vocational experts, these are extremely important if you want to obtain Social Security Disability Insurance or individual unemployability. Vocational experts, what these folks do, a lot of them have a master's degree in social work and, and some other different uh, uh, you know, educational backgrounds like that. But what they do is they write reports detailing, okay, John Q. Veteran has you know, these disabilities and these disabilities prevent him from working. So, you know, let's just say you have a veteran who has a hearing issue and lost a leg uh, in Iraq. So the vocational expert is gonna write a report detailing how they can't do a desk job because they can't hear on the phone, they have hearing problems. And then at the same time, they're missing a leg, they can't really do the physically demanding jobs that, you know, folks who can't do desk jobs do. So the vocational expert's gonna look at it and say, hey, they can't work behind a desk and they can't work at a construction site. They're kind of left out of a lot of jobs out there and because of that, they're, they're never going to have uh, employment that is you know, substantial. So the next few steps, this is, you'll probably think this is pretty elementary, but this is sometimes a problem. Your application for VA disability benefits is going to have to go to the VA. Your application for your Social Security claim is going to have to go to the Social Security Administration. Now, if you send both of them in to one agency, they are not going to file it. They're, they may, who knows what they're going to do. It. It's, it's the government. They may just throw it on the floor, you know, but they do not have a duty to, you know, file your claim for if you send it to the wrong place. Basically, if you're going to be applying for Social Security and you're going to be applying for Veterans Disability Benefits, that's something that we can help with here at the firm. Uh, we can help with both of them and uh, there's never a cost to help with the application process. A lot of veterans are approved on both of them on the initial application and if that happens, hey that's great, congratulations, you don't pay Woods and Woods anything for help with the applications. If you're denied or you receive a low rating, if you don't get SSDI benefits or individual unemployability benefits, then you have the option to hire us if you want. Uh, it's kind of like you get a test run with us here, you know, through the application process. See if you like us, see if you think we do a good job. And then if you like us, you can have the option to hire us for the appeal. Now we don't ever ask for money up front and the, both the fees are just settled at the end of the case. They're a percentage of the back pay earned and case expenses, things like doctor supports. But we will never ask uh, for any of your future benefits. We don't charge for phone calls. There's no billable hours here. And if you do not win either one of those claims, you just don't pay us anything. You get to walk away off into the sunset. So it, it's a good setup because veterans that can't work, they probably cannot pay a lawyer. So if you can't pay a lawyer but, and you can't work, give us a call because we're going to look at your Social Security claim and we're going to look at your VA disability claim. So if you have any more questions, we're always available for consultations here. And if you want to just go learn and read some more, our website has a lot of information. It's www.woodslawyers.com.